morning. Right, out on another little adventure, got a couple of days off together, so thought why not? It's two in a month, we're not doing too bad, are we? Makes a change for the last couple of years. Today's not a major countryside walk to be honest. We started off down at Matlock and we're up to High Tour as first uh, port. We tried this yesterday. Uh, a lot of things going his way. Five mile detours. Started raining. Just everything went wrong. One of them days where you just knew it was never gonna happen. So we headed off home and decided to do it today. So I hope it's worth it. Second attempt. Uh, as you can tell with my breath, a bit of a climb first off. So yeah, we're heading off to up to high tour. Let's go. I uh, don't know if you can see it, the castle just on the top. Before we get to high tour, we're going to go and see that. Uh, we saw it on way on path at bottom here, so we thought we'd crack them, see what it is. Looks impressive, doesn't it? So you've just got to, haven't you? So we'll uh, see it a bit further up. Let's see what this castle's all about. Eh? Be interesting into these old castles and things at minute aren't we yeah, we even joint English heritage and old fogies now you know probably might not even get up here with that old I think we will let's get going eh? Well that would have been a bit of a bit disappointment, we climb all the way up there to find out it's closed off and it's a building site but hopefully we can get a little bit closer as we walk round and get to see some of it, but it did look nice 
Uh, looks like it's been renovated for something. A couple of horses here. Jane is definitely going to want to uh, say hello to them. So we'll be stopping for a bit, saying hello to these horses, I bet you. What did I say? Right, Anna. Yep. So we'll cut. Oh, we start. This is this is unusual because this is usually a ten-minute talk to them. Me, that's There's not only one that's turning the back on them. <laughs> Right, that castle, found out what it is, it's River Hall, and we can't get to see it anyway, because that's private. So, whoever owns that, I know whoever's living in that, what can I say, they are well and truly, eh? yeah, so they've got some money, I guess it's a hotel or something. So that's River Hall. Somewhere down here, there's a footpath which we've got to try and find. I am mapping this and I'm trying to get us in a circle. I am honest. Believe me, we'll get there. We always do. We always find a way around. We never get lost, we just find a new route. Isn't that correct? See, I told you. I knew we'd find it. So onwards. Let's hope there's no more climbing for a bit. Eh? Let's get round. Plan on being a nice seven, seven mile circular today. Hope you're all enjoying it. Um, again, I've got to say it. It's last week. So many subscribers. Thank you. I am honoured, should I say, overwhelmed the amount of people that subscribed today this week i've gone from well then i think about i think it's i forget how many we've got now 115 or something from 102 so we're not doing too bad eh? so yeah thank you i must be doing something right and thank you for all the comments people that have commented on the walks that is really much appreciated and I will get, and I will reply to them all, I promise, and it'll just felt then. Just pass through Halfstone Farm. And we're going to be taking a ride to the public bridleway. And we are still climbing. It's got to come down in a bit, hasn't it? Beautiful, that Halfstone Farm, I must say. Um, distance. You can see uh, for miles, should I say. It's a uh, bog, eh? With rain we had yesterday. But after his last walks, should be used to that, shouldn't we? For these boggy hills and things. As we said last time, it is March, we've got to expect it, haven't we? So, onwards and upwards. And it is literally upwards and onwards.
Right, now we're coming back down to civilization of Fort Ed. Just to explain the reason why today we decided to do this walk. Not only have uh, Jane's been there uh, going on Facebook and on the sites that we're on, and everybody's been doing Hig uh, or whatever it is, Edge. What is it? Giddy. Giddy, Giddy Edge. Edge. That's it. And everybody's been doing Giddy, Giddy Edge. And she's been wanting to do Giddy Edge. So I've. Uh, Hopefully, if I plan this right, we're going to do Giddy Edge and High Tour. We haven't forgot about that. We are doing that. I know I said that at the beginning of the video, but we are still on this route to do that. Just a bit of a detour, that's all. I don't want to just do a two mile walk to High Tour and Giddy Edge and then come back. Might as well make it a six, seven, eight mile walk, haven't you? You've got to, haven't you? Especially after the day I had yesterday, driving around trying to find a car park with diversions that were taking me back to bloody Castleton so but I didn't want Castleton I wanted miles away from Castleton so again up in and like I said earlier so on his way still to High Tour and Giddy Edge so if I planned it right this could be fun it's just starting to rain again and after it rained yesterday it could be very slippy so, let's see what we get, eh? Just found a them blue plaques. The last called Alison Butler, author, children's book. It's gotta be special to get one of them blue plaques, so uh, thought I'd put it on. I've not heard them, but probably some of you have. Madam Muck's not heard them either. So she can't be that good, can she? I mean Jane, not Alison Butler, whatever she is. Obviously she is good. Right, we're still going down. And the frightening thing is, if we're still going down, that means at some point we're going to come back up again. This high, high tour, high, is giving me the fact that we're going to have to climb again. So, but that is on the way back to the car, so we ain't there yet. But keep watching. We'll get there. That giddy edge, that's got to come yet.
Well, I think it's destined to stay wet for the remainder of the walk. As you can see, you don't want to get out of going old frizzy and a makeup to run. Makeup artist is not with what us today. Swear, I'll get there. We just stopped off for lunch at High Peak Junction. A nice little resting spot. Got out at rain and sat under a brolly. That were nice. Toilets, because my bladder keeps running. So I needed that one. And we're walking outside the canal. Very nice and peaceful, I must say. Right, just passed through Cromford, Crump and Cromford Wharf. You've probably seen a nice little Wook Canal Wharf area. Probably nice to go back there in summer and have a little look around when we're not doing any filming at the rest. Um, just a little browse around. So that's one on my list, I think, for a nice afternoon coffee somewhere. You know, we're getting old now. So onwards. Hi, so here we come. Right, just walking through in a little village. You don't think it was a village, we all trucks run past. So I'm just looking where Jane is. Right, we're going through Matlock Bath. Really nice little village. And then off up to High Tour. And Jane's what Jane wants to do. That Higger, whatever it is. Giddy Edge. Giddy Edge. So, that's what she wants to do, that's what we're going to do. See what that happens, eh?
Right, that back there, up yonder there, were high tall. Very high tall. Very high tall. <laughs> now we're going to go and look for this thing that Jane wanted to walk, <laughs> but is now might not be wanting to walk. So that giddy edge. Mm. She is get. She's not might getting be, giddy. Might be a bit too near the edge. She's not getting giddy. Put it that way. She's getting a little bit so uh, sweaty bummed. So I don't think we might end up doing it. I'm she hoping she does. It. I'm hoping she does, but we'll see. Hmm. This is getting fun. Right, it's another walk done. We didn't do a giddy edge. It was deemed too slippy due to the rain, weren't it? Yes. Not that brave. Not that brave. So that's on the cards for another day. So we're back in Matlock now. And uh, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Sorry about giddy edge, but we'll do it eventually. Catch you next time.